హలో గాయస్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ అండ్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఏ న్యూ వీడియో ఐ హోప్ యూ ఆల్ ఆర్ డూయింగ్ వెల్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐ విల్ బి షోయింగ్ ది మేకప్ డూస్ అండ్ డోంట్స్ ఫర్ ది ఓపెన్ పోస్ అండ్ స్కార్ స్కిన్ సో వితౌట్ ఎనీ డిలే లెట్స్ బిగిన్ ది వీడియో you can see that i have the scars which were caused from the acne so i have scars uh, all over my cheeks on the right side and left side also and also i have the open pores uh, in camera my pores and acne scars are not that much visible as in real life my left side of the face will be the do side and the right side of the face will be the don't side before starting any makeup it is very important to moisturize your skin in irrespective of the skin type but you have to moisturize your skin even if it is oily skin i am using the pons gel based moisturizer since my skin type is oily to moisturize my skin if your skin type is dry you can use a moisturizer uh, that is hydrating so that your skin will be hydrated uh, throughout the day after applying the moisturizer wait for 2 to 3 minutes before you are going to the next step next step will be applying the primer for the don't side i'll be using the uh, primer from the brand mac this primer uh, is a, a natural radiance primer so it adds a shine to the face if you have open pores and scar it is best to avoid the products that adds shine to the face because if you use any dewy finish uh, products it will reflect the light from the surface of your face and also from the depths of your pores or acne scars making your pores or acne scars to look more prominent so i'm using this primer from the brand mac so that you can all see the difference i'm applying this primer uh, to all over my face this is a very good primer but it is not uh, best for the pores or acne scar skin you all can see the difference in my face that the primer has given it has added a shine to my face to the do side of my face i'll be using a blur or a pore a filling primer you can use any pore filling primer here i'm using the uh, primer from the brand lakme this is a very good primer it uh, gives a blur effect to the face and also fills the pores to an extent the primer is looking white on my face but don't worry it will disappear after a few seconds of applying the primer uh, i'm applying the primer to uh, the areas where and all i have the pores i have some uh, acne scars on my nose also so i'm applying there also you can see that the primer has mattified my left side of the face and it is not reflecting the light so so the uh, pores or acne scars are not looking prominent uh, my right side of the face is looking dewy so it is reflecting the light from the surface of the face and also the pores or acne scars are looking prominent compared to the left side also the another don't for the uh, pores or acne scar skin is that using a strop cream so i'm using a strop cream from the brand mac here and applying on the right side of my face which is a don't side you can apply the strop cream if you don't have any pores large pores or acne scars but if you have acne scars or large pores it is best to avoid the strop cream because uh, it will also add the uh, shine to the face and it will reflect the lights and the pores or acne scars will look very prominent and also i uh, observed that after applying the strop cream after few hours your face will look oily making the pores to look very prominent next step will be uh, applying the foundation uh, to my don't side i'll be using the dewy foundation the dewy foundation adds the sheen to the face so sometimes it contains certain kinds of oils in the foundation uh, so the foundation will uh, reflect the light making your pores are noticeable so it is best to avoid the dewy foundation if you have large pores or acne scars the foundation i have used here is from the brand krylon it is a full coverage foundation and it is a dewy finish uh, foundation next i will be applying a matte foundation to my do side of the face you can apply any matte foundation you have here i am using the uh, foundation from the brand milani in the shade tan 
the reason behind uh, using the matte foundation is that the matte foundation doesn't contain any oil in the foundation so it won't reflect any lights uh, from the face and uh, your pores will not look prominent uh, now you have to fill in the pores by using a brush any foundation brush you like uh, so you have to apply the foundation in a way that uh, the pores are filled uh, you can use the circular motion um, to apply the foundation like i am doing in the video so if you apply the foundation like this your pores will be filled to some extent and it will not look more prominent use this technique to apply the foundation and you will see the difference pores are not something that it will disappear overnight or it will disappear uh, by applying any makeup uh, or any primer the primer will help it to look less noticeable it won't make the pores to disappear and no makeup will make your pores or acne scar uh, to disappear it will only help your scars or pores to uh, look less noticeable now you can see the difference in the don't and do side the do side is matte so it won't reflect any light and uh, making the pores uh, less visible in the don't side you can see that there is a sheen to the face and it is reflecting the light uh, from the surface of the face and the pores or acne scars are very much visible i have open pores on the apples of my cheeks pores on my right side is more visible uh, than the left side the next don't is that they are not setting the uh, foundation with the powder it is important to set your foundation because one it is going to uh, make your foundation long lasting it will take away any dewiness present from the foundation three it will control any sweat or oil that will be produced after a few hours further it will mattify your foundation so that your pores will be less noticeable so on do side we'll set the foundation with the powder and on the don't side we are not going to set the foundation with the powder the next don't uh, will be applying the shimmer blush with the shimmer blush it will further enhance your pores because it will reflect a light from your pores on the do side you will be using the matte blush uh, since the blush is matte it won't reflect any light from your face and it, your pores will not look very prominent you can see the difference on both side the next step will be applying too much bronzer to the areas where you have more pores uh, because the contour will be in the darker shade than your skin tone so it will make the pores look more prominent and on the do side i will be applying the contour in less quantity also avoid applying the uh, shimmer bronzer the next don't will be applying the highlighter to the areas where you have pores or acne scars on the don't side i'm applying the highlighter to the apple of my cheeks also where i have a large pores making it look more prominent on the do side i will be applying the highlighter to my cheekbones where i don't have a large pores or acne scars if you have acne scars and the cheekbones also please avoid applying the highlighter you can see the visible difference on the both side of the face uh, the don't side and the do side the pores on the don't side is looking very prominent and the pores on the do side is not looking that much prominent as compared to the don't side on the don't side all the acne scars uh, are more visible as you can see and on the uh, do side the acne scars are not that much visible because it is not reflecting any light making it less prominent i'm showing you all the close up of my face so, so that you all can see the difference uh, between the do side and also the don't side on the don't side you can see the uh, scars and pores are more prominent as compared to the do side i hope you all like this video if you are new to my channel please like share and subscribe if you have any question please ask in the comment box below see you in the next video bye